Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our family. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Bless his holy name. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our life, thank you for our home, thank you for our marriage, thank you for our business, thank you for our career. Father, we say thank you for everything that concerning us. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We say thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Lord, we celebrate you. 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 Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for day three. Thank you for day four. Thank you for day five. Thank you for day six. Thank you for day seven. Thank you for day eight. Thank you for day nine. Thank you for yesterday. My Lord, my God. We say thank you for today. To you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all glory. To you be all honor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and let's worship God. Lift up your hand and let's say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are worship. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for today. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to say thank you for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for day three. Thank you for all that you have been doing in us, for us and in us. Thank you for what you have been doing through us. Lord, I want to say thank you for this ministry, Praying Eagles Network. Thank you for your hand that is upon us. Thank you for your favor that we enjoy. Thank you for your lifting. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for all that you have been doing through this ministry. Thank you for those who are receiving their healing. Thank you for your awesomeness. Thank you for your wonder. Father, to you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all adoration in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, as we come before you today, I ask that Father, we decree, we declare heaven open in the name of Jesus. Heaven open in the name of Jesus. Heavens of your wonder, heavens of your healing, heavens of divine encounter, heavens of new thing. Let it open upon us in the name of Jesus. Let it open upon us. 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 Today, as you have asked us to cry and ask for favor, favor for new beginning, favor for new thing. My Lord, my God, I ask that heavens of favor, heavens of favor, Heavens of favor, heavens of favor, let it open upon us in the name of Jesus. Let it open upon us. 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 Heavens of favor, heavens of favor upon our work, 
upon our home, upon our marriage, upon our business, upon our career. Father, let heavens of favor, let it open in the name of Jesus. Let it open, 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 let it open in the name of Jesus. Today, my Lord, my God, I ask that you arise in your power, that you arise in your mind, that you arise in your glory. You visit each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Father, do that which only you can do in our midst, in our life. And at the end of today, Father, take all glory, take all honor, take all adoration. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us to today's prayer avalanche. Today is day 12 by the special grace of God. Today is day 12 of this ministration, day 12 of this program. Praise ye the Lord. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. I say you are all welcome to day 12 of prayer avalanche, new beginning. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. And as you are joining me today, as you are joining us today, wherever you are logging in from all over the world, I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. That in everything that concerns you, your life, your marriage, your business, your career, the Lord will start a new thing in the name of Jesus. A new thing will spring forth in your life. A new thing will spring forth in your home. A new thing will spring forth in your marriage. A new thing will spring forth in your business. A new thing will spring forth in your career. A new thing will spring forth in the name of Jesus. In everything that concerns you, sir. In everything that concerns you, man. New thing will spring forth in the name of Jesus. New thing means new beginning. It means God will start and begin a new thing. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. That in the name of Jesus, as you join us today by the favor of God for a new thing, for a new beginning, let God start, let God begin, let God orchestrate, let God, let God release new beginning concerning you in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, in the name of Jesus. Once again, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. I celebrate every one of us who are online. I celebrate you. I celebrate God's faithfulness in your life. Amen. As you join us today, I know that the God of new beginning, the God of new thing, will visit you and do a new thing in your life. He will do a new thing in your home in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. While I was waiting upon the Lord God for today, the Lord said we should cry for favor. Favor for a new beginning. Favor for a new beginning. Favor for a new beginning. Praise ye the Lord. And before we go into that, I want to celebrate God for the life of my beautiful wife. Praise ye the Lord. If you don't celebrate my wife, I will celebrate her. Amen. Yesterday was powerful. Yesterday was awesome. Somebody say awesome. Praise ye the Lord. Yesterday was powerful. Yesterday was awesome. Ma, may the Lord God bless you, increase you in the name of Jesus. May the God of new beginning, God of new thing, may he visit you, visit your home, visit your marriage, visit your business, visit your career, visit everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. May the God of new thing release new thing into everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Yesterday was fantastic. Praying for our spouse. Praying for our spouse. Either you are husband, you pray for your wife. Either you are a wife, you pray for your husband. But hear this, man. The same topic uh, interceding for our spouse by the special grace of God. Next week, Saturday, it will continue. We will have part two of it. Amen. You continue with the same topic. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Many marriage, many homes are breaking uh, under the attack. Uh, mention it, mention it today. Mention it, sir. Mention it, man. Many homes. And the, and the danger of it is this. It is always the women that are always at the receiving end. Forget about what we see on social media. When you see some, um, they call them some airlights, 
some big men, some big women. Please, ma, let me focus on, on us who are women. Please, please, ma. Let's 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 first of us leave our husband. Let's put them beside. We'll come back and meet them in another time. Defend your marriage. Forget about what is going on on social media. I'm a pastor by the grace of God. I see a lot. I cancel a lot. I handle a lot. You see all those women on social media. Quote and unquote me. You see all those women on social media. That they cancel. That they advise. If marriage did not work, step outside, leave. They are crying secretly. When it is time for them to come on social media, hear me, sir, hear me, ma. for you to know, they spend nothing less than one to two hours. How many minutes does it cost me to come online? Apart from the preparation, 15 minutes. I enter the debate room, I come out, I don't uh, put on my clothes. But women, before they can do anything, you see them spending hours to do makeup. They have dressed, but to just do makeup because of five minutes, ten minutes, video that they want to record on uh, TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, on all the social media. They spend two hours, three hours to do just makeup for five or ten minutes. Maximum, thirty minutes. And when they come out, you see them, oh, this is... Is that not a deceit? Praise it, the Lord. The moment they finish that recording, they go back to their sorrow. When they come on, on cam before camera, they begin to laugh, they begin to smile. Oh, if marriage did not work, leave. My sister, don't leave. Oh, Look and pray what will make that marriage to work unless God asks you I will balance it. Unless God... But you see them. They move from one husband, one month's house to ma before you know it, they marry another one. Before you know it, they marry. They tell you that they are career people. Career under my feet. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. They are not into any career. What are they doing? They are into selling their body. Yes. Let's deal with issue. I don't want to, you know the language. I don't want to mention it so that uh, Facebook will not flag uh, my page. That is what they do for a living. And they will not come online. Oh, if marriage did not work, hey, look at me. The moment I step out, I'm enjoying life. They are not enjoying life, oh. They are crying secretly. They are crying secretly. Let me repeat it again by the special grace of God. I am do. I see, I hear. <laughs> your marriage will not go the same way like their own. If, if he did not work, why did they have to go and be looking for another woman's husband? They would say they would be sleeping with them and be making money. Ah, my marriage did not work. I, I'm out. I want to live free life. I'm not under any bondage. I don't want to be under any anybody's bondage. And you are looking, you are running after another woman's husband at work. And you wife, you did not know. What you will not do for your husband, what you will not give your husband, they are ready. And you, the man will not come home. And where is my food? Ah, I'm just preparing it. Wow. Did that. <laughs> Little thing will trigger anger. If their marriage did not work, if they know that marriage did not work, they are not supposed to go after another man again. They are just to remain like that. They are just to remain like that. They don't go after bachelor, singles, men. They go after married men who have home, who have, who have a quiet wife like you. <laughs> Amen. They are not after, after marriage. They are just after what is in the hand of your husband. They want to grab it, get it. When they get it, they dump him and they move forward. Look at their, look at their, look at their lifestyle. Go and begin to read about the, what they are doing for a living and uh, how many men have they, have they met, how many men have complained with them, how many men. Do you want to go the same way? 
So please, sir, please, man, what you need to do is this. Go before God, report your marriage on a daily basis. Whatever is not good, report it before God. And uh, please, report yourself. Where you are not doing well, report yourself unto God. Let God help you. It's not everything is your husband. And husband is not everything is your wife. Where you are not doing well, report yourself. Ask God to help you. Where you need to ask for help, seek for help. When you are having health issues, you look for counselor. Counselor, you look, you go to doctor and they prescribe, prescribe, uh, prescribe drug for you. Drug for you. If you are having marital issues, why not look for counselor? I repeat again, don't use those lie lie counselor on social media to judge. They don't have marriage, they don't have home, and they are not having. Don't use them. I don't know why I'm saying this today. Number two, whenever you are having issue, I have said this before, whenever you are having issue with your husband or with your wife, never, especially women, never curse your husband. Don't curse. It will be well with him. Ah, it will fall. No matter how annoyance, how anger you are, never curse. I will tell you two reasons why you must not curse that man. I have cursed some people. One thing I don't do is I what I won't allow is this. If you come to my office and you have to do with counseling about marriage and you are going to that point of cursing, I ask you to stop. Number one, my my office is a prayer room. Amen. Whatever you decree there is, is stamped, is established. Whatever you decree is stamped and established. So I won't allow you to be cursing another man or another person in that place because I know you'll be established. Number two. Maybe because of the anger, the annoyance that is on ground between you and that man. When you curse that man, unless you know that and you are sure that you and that man will not come together again. When you lay a curse upon that, your husband, you may think that it will not be settled again. After one month, after two months, after three months, the case is settled. And the two of you now come back together. If the man, if the man, if the man, if you go to bed with that, with that man and the man climb you, every course that you have issued to that man, he come back to you in a tenfold and you begin to see, not tomorrow, you begin to see the Eastern manifestation. You lay a course upon that man. Tomorrow, the issue is sorted out and the two of you come to bed. And the man was on top of you. Every cause that you have issued to that man, it will not be returned back to you in tenfold. Here, Mr. is spiritual, and I'm telling you the raw truth. And he now come back to you in tenfold. And it's not that it will happen tomorrow. It will begin to happen immediately. So tomorrow you are not complaining. One witch, one witchcraft is tormenting you, is harassing you, is dealing with your head, is dealing with your finance. You don't know what is really going on. Uh, one cancer, one wound, uh, this, one that. No, it's what you have sold out that return in tenfold. Unless you are sure that eternity, that man and you, you are not coming together again. Do I show how are you sure? I was, there's a, there's a sister that, not afraid, she's running away from me now. Do you know why she's running away from me? This same issue. When they were having, I said, no, you don't curse, curse your husband. She said, he's no, no longer my husband. I reject it. Never in our life, we cannot. I said, you don't know what tomorrow will be. She said, Pastor, tomorrow will not be anything. Never. I've gone, I'm a career person. I've gone with my life. I said, it's okay, no problem. I tried to say no, she began to leave. I said, you know what, you cannot curse him here. And she now annoyed and she left my office and she was she was going, she was cursing. I said, think twice, don't do this. After like two, after like three months, I don't know what happened. They are back. So she was ashamed and she still ashamed now. Hey, this man won me. So tomorrow, when that woman began to have different kind of health issue different kind of problem in our work in this and that and we say one witchcraft one altar no it is what she have released out that come back to her in tenfold and nobody can break it at that time for her 
Nobody. 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 Is he a pastor that raised the cost? No. Is he a man that raised the cost? No. She was the one that raised the cost. But now the cost now returned back to her in tenfold. So why will you enjoy yourself? Well, no matter the what is going on in your marriage, never open your mouth and curse your husband. Never open your mouth and curse your husband. Number two, why you must not curse that your husband? If you curse your husband, if you have a child for that your husband, when you are cursing, let's say the two of you have gone separate way, you know you are sure that you are not going to marry marry again. You have gone, he has maybe you have married another person. So the 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 there's no assurance, there's no way that the two of you will come back together. You may be having say, so pastor, if I curse him, we are not coming back together. So I'm not. But if you have a child, especially a son, especially a son. For that man, when you curse that man, you are not cursing that man, you are cursing that boy. When you curse that man, you are not cursing that man. Do you know what you are cursing? You are cursing your own son. So tomorrow, I want to see how that your son will prosper. Tomorrow, I want to see when that son, if that son should meet God and God break the yoke and he prosper. I want to see how that God, how that son will favor you. How that son in your old age will be there for you. He will never be there for you. Because you have raised a curse on him. And the spirit behind that curse will be, will be working against you. There will never be anything that will bring you and that son together. If, if that son marry, that son is going to marry your enemy. Whatever the son is doing, he will be things that we, and your whole day, you will not be crying. They are using my son against me. Nobody is using your son against you. It's what you have planted 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, that you are not having the, 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 the reward. So why will you not dug, dig, or planted, or do something that will harm your old age when you are supposed to be there? And your children, your grandchildren, they will be happy. I'm the last one of my mom. When last have I seen, it, seen her? Last year. I've seen her last night. We are in the same Nigeria, but different states. We only talk on phone. I've seen her last, last year. I've been trying before uh, prayer avalanche to go and see her. But I could not. So this month, it could not be possible. Until after prayer avalanche now. I say I'm the last one. So you can imagine that there's no other children with... But here, Mr. Herman, when you get to my mother's house now, you will see more than three, more than four, more than five children. Great, great grandchildren. If you call my mother now, she's not the one to pick up. One of the grandchildren, <laughs> one of the grandchildren who married in our area, I didn't say children, grandchildren. My sister's daughter, that now married now, <laughs> amen. She was the, she's the one holding the uh, grandma's phone. So when you call her, you say, "Oh, uh, uncle, ah, uh, uh, okay, let me quickly go and give uh, the phone to grandma." Or sometimes our own children, no grandchildren now, great grandchildren, will be the one to pick it. When they look at it, oh, you say, "Ah, daddy, oh, mommy, ah, let me go and give the phone to grandma." If my mother have laid a curse, she's 100 now. Our firstborn, my mother's firstborn is close to 80 years. So you can imagine her age. If my mother have laid a curse on our father because of issues between them in those days, she will be there now. She will be there, there suffering. My father died 11 years ago. Am I right? 11 years ago. And that woman is still alive. So she will be the one bearing the consequence. She will be the one paying the price now. So why must you dig? Why must you finish your tomorrow? Don't lay a curse on that man. The worst thing you can do is this. Moot. Allow God. And uh, somebody say, Pastor, you are passionate at this uh, today. What about men? Hmm. Any man that married. The Bible said they have obtained a favor from the Lord. Amara, is that what the Bible said? Is that what the Bible said? A man, not a woman, a man that married obtained 
a favor from the Lord. So when you obtain a favor from the Lord, what will happen? Men will favor you. Your world will begin to prosper. Everything about you will begin to go well. A man who marry well, who marry right, obtained a favor from the Lord. So what is that favor? The favor comes from your wife. A man, when you marry, the Bible says you obtain a favor from the Lord. So, we indirectly, it is that wife that God released to your life and that will be a gate of favor into your life. So, when you are cursing your wife, you are cursing the favor of God in your life. You are cursing the gift of God in your life. When you beat your wife, you are beating the gift of God in your life. So tomorrow when you see them, they begin to lose their job. They begin to run into problems at work. I see some men, they were having issue and they are still fighting with their wife. I see a man who doesn't have knowledge. Your wife that you're supposed to bring so that when you bring her in into your life and papa her, Favor, the, the favor you did not ask for come into your life because you are not having issue at work. You are, even, you are having issue with your finance. You are not saying it is your wife. You are not fighting your wife. Do you know what you are doing? The favor that, what will bring favor into your life? You are fighting that thing. So how will favor come? Favor will be moving forward, moving backward. One step far backward. One step backward. That is just it. Hey, I see a lot. In the place in the in the room of counseling, and I hear a lot, and I handle a lot. Don't let your home be like that. Number one, devil know that if a marriage is well established, he has failed. He has failed in the society. Because the product of that good home, that good marriage, is what we go out and establish and build the society. So when your marriage is well established, the society will be well established. But when there are problems at home, definitely the product of that problem is going outside there to build the society. So a product of broken home, a product of battered home, a product of um, a release into the society. And what are they going to build? They are going to build a bad society. And that is what we are having today. That is why we are, that is what we are having today. But well, hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. When I say it sometimes, people don't like it. The foundation of any home is upon the shoulder, not upon the shoulder of a man. It's upon the shoulder of the woman. If your husband prosper, I want to know the wife. When I see a man that prosper, I want to know I want to know two people in the life of that man. I want to know the woman that gave birth to that man. And I want to know the wife. When I ask, what about your mother? My mother is dead. Okay, I want to know your, your, your wife. I want to know your wife. It's not your prayer. Forget it. Ah, I'm a prayer person. I can see it. Revelation is not about revelation. It's the product of your wife. If your wife says you are making it, no matter how the turbulence, you will come out of it, you will make it. But your wife says, oh, that one, yeah, Mr. Yama, go and meet the best prophet on the whole world. What you come back is, uh, it's spiritual principle. When you make it, when a man is making it, I want to know two people in the life of that man, the mother and the wife. The mother and the wife. I may decide not to pray for myself for one month. I may decide not to pray for myself. I mean it. When I did I even pray for myself? I pray for the ministry. I pray for people who are support. Instead of me, many times when I'm praying, when I say I'm praying for myself, I'm praying for those who are supporting this ministry. Me, forget it. I don't have anything to pray for myself. I don't have. Personal prayer point, I don't have. It's just my family. Yes, God bless them. God help me uphold them. And those 
that God is using to support me. Those are my personal prayer points. But me, I'm a burnt offering, so there's nothing to pack. There's nothing left about me again. Burnt offering. You know why? I know there are two people that they cannot do without praying for me. My mother, she's still alive and she's aged. She cannot do it. She can forget about all that people. <laughs> my brother, my sister. But she cannot, me, the last born, she's, she's ready to die for this boy. Right from when I was small. Everybody know that, that one. It's a, kill yourself because of him. You are, if he's the only one, kill yourself. And God help me. My wife, may God bless you in the name of Jesus. Let me encourage my wife before we continue. Somebody said a message after your prayer yesterday. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somebody sent a message. Not the one I read for you. It was another thing entirely. Oh, I can't find it. May God help me. I will, I will look for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just trying to look for the message that somebody sent to encourage me, to encourage you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So please, why am I saying this? Please, uh, please, my especially women, if your marriage is still that, uphold it. If you are coming in, please pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Devil did not want any marriage to succeed. Because when he succeeds, when the marriage succeeds, outside there will be better for us, will be better for everybody. So he wants marriage to scatter. So he's doing everything possible to make sure that he scatter marriage and scatter home or bring problem to the home. But please, women, it's on your shoulder. God sent Moses on errand. The same God wanted to kill him. The wife of Moses bail him out. Moses would have been a dead person. Yes, enemy wanted to kill Moses at birth. It, it was prevented by God by using who? A woman, his mother, and his sister to preserve his life. And after that one passed, when it was time that God himself wanted to kill him, God himself wanted to kill him. That was the very first time the name of Moses' wife appeared. And Moses' wife, Sipora, appeared and uh, built the husband out. Mention it. Mention it. Look at your Bible. Those that make it, those that succeed, succeed in one thing or the other, those that God bless in one way or the other, God bless them, they make it because of a woman who was in their life, a woman that helped them. So please support your marriage. Support your marriage. Somebody said, eh, the husband is the neck. Why the wife is the neck? The husband is the head. Your husband is the head. Why the wife is the neck? The head cannot turn to anywhere without the permission of the neck. Right now, as I'm looking at you, I want to turn my head back. But if my neck did not agree, it's not going anywhere. Unless I cause myself pain and it will only go to a particular level and it will stop. I don't know why I'm saying this today, but I believe God is ministering to somebody. So we come back next week, Saturday, by the special grace of God. We continue with that topic. Prayer for our spouse. If you are a husband, pray for your wife. If you are a wife, you pray for your husband. The Lord will uphold us in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not scatter. The Lord will defend your marriage in the name of Jesus. Any crisis in your home, any crisis in your marriage, any crisis that is going on in that family, I decree, I declare by the hand of the Almighty God, let it cease in the name of Jesus. 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 Favor of God for a new beginning. That was number one. I also said we should next week that we should pray it as if for uh, our spouse again. Then number two, this week unusual things about to happen. The Lord said by His Spirit that this week is our week of favor. This week is our week of favor. So starting from today throughout, maybe to Wednesday, to Thursday, to Friday, to Saturday, He said this week our week of favor. Praise the Lord. So some of us online, God is going to grant you favor in the name of Jesus. And uh, two things, God specifically mentioned two people. He said there are some people with folder that your file, the enemy removed your file and uh, they kept it. Amen. It's not a month. It's not a matter of months. It's not, it's not a matter of weeks. The Lord is saying I should tell you that that file that the enemy removed and kept, 
The Lord said, that file, that folder, that file shall be brought out this week in the name of Jesus. And as that file, as that folder, as, as, as the Lord God bring it out, the favor of the Almighty God will rest upon it in the name of Jesus. This very week, every one of you that are going for interview, the Lord will favor you in the name of Jesus. Here is a young man, and he said, those that cl don't have closed against, those that their expectation, they want to enter into a particular place, but it was difficult and the time was against them. They know that it cannot be possible for them to enter. Maybe you want to migrate, you want to lift, move to another place, or you want to a new job or a new promotion. Whatever it is, the new level, the new place that you are aiming, that you are hiding at, and uh, the enemy have shut the door against you. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, if you can believe, this very week, there is going to be a real call. They will recall that folder. They will recall your file. And that door that, that the enemy has shut, that thing that you think that cannot be, never be possible, the Lord is saying, it will make it possible and it will favor you in the name of Jesus. So hear me, sir, hear me, man. When you are, as you are going to bed throughout this week, oh Lord, favor me. When you wake up, Lord, favor me. Anywhere you are going, just make sure that the word of favor, the prayer of favor, the declaration of favor is always in your mouth. The Lord will favor you in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will favor you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 102, verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. You will arise and have mercy upon Oreolua Ariola. It is the time to favor him. It is the time to favor him. Praise the Lord. The Bible is saying in Psalm 102, verse 13, that the Lord will arise and have mercy upon Ore. Why? Because it is time to favor me. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Say, yea, the appointed time has come. This is your appointed time for favor. This is your appointed time for lifting. This is your appointed time for fruitfulness. This is your appointed time for promotion. That thing that you have been waiting for, this is your appointed time for celebration. The Lord will arise for you in the name of Jesus and have mercy on you and favor you. Hear me, sir. There are three stages. The first stage is for God to arise. The second one is for God to show you mercy. And the third one is for you to obtain favor. Number one, God will arise. Number two, we have mercy on you. Number three, he will show you favor. You know why God must arise for you this week? Hear me, sir. Psalm 69, verse 1. Psalm 69, verse 1. He said, God shall arise and his enemies shall scatter. When God arises, his enemies scatter. Because this week is a week of favor. Because this week concerning your marriage, concerning your home, concerning your business, concerning your career, God is going to favor you. So God must arise. And when God arises, anything that put himself, anything that put itself, whosoever, whatsoever, that put themselves as enemy to the manifestation of that thing in your life, you are believing, you are believing God for promotion. You are believing God for fruitfulness. You are believing God for help. You are believing God for new thing. You are believing God for a new beginning. You are believing God to, for God to establish you. That prophecy, that revelation, you are believing God for their manifestation. For your son, for your daughter, you are believing God for open doors to university, to open door to any of the higher institutions, or you are believing God for marital settlement for them. Yeah, Mr. Hiyama, whatsoever, whatever it is that stand to receive the manifestation, whatsoever, whatever it is that stand that is saying no to the manifestation of the word of God in your life, they are enemy of God. Whatsoever, whatever it is that is making God a liar in your life. The book of Numbers said, God is not a man that will lie. Neither the son of man that will repent. Have he said he will he not make it to pass? Has he spoken, will he not bring it to pass? So God is not a liar. So whatsoever that is not making those prophecies and revelation, the promise of God, what is it that is in your life that did not allow you to come to pass? They are making God a liar. So they are the enemy of progress. So they are the enemy of new things. They are the enemy of your testimony. They are enemy of God in your life. Psalm 16, verse 1 says, Let God arise and his enemy be scattered. So when God arise, all those things, they will scatter. Praise the Lord. Somebody say scatter. Say let God arise and let my enemy scatter. Praise the Lord. In that marriage, whatever it is that is not giving you joy, whatever it is that is saying your husband must not listen to you, your husband must not hear you, whatever is, the, whatever is that hand that is releasing sinner affliction, as one affliction is gradually coming to an end, they drop another one. Just like a drop of water. They drop another one. They drop another one. Whatever hand of affliction that is in your life, 
whatever hand of sickness that the enemy have laid upon you, let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. They will scatter. Somebody say, let God arise. Let my enemy scatter. I want you to say loud and clear. Say, let God arise. Say, let my enemy scatter. Can you say one more time? Say, let God arise. Let my enemy scatter. So the first stage is for God to arise for you. And I know very well, I know very sure that this very week, in the name of Jesus Christ on that side, the Lord will arise for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will arise. He will arise for you. He will concern your marriage, concern your business, concern your career. Let God will arise in the name of Jesus. And your enemy, the enemy of your progress, the enemy of your marriage, the enemy of your fruitfulness, the enemy of your increase, the enemy of your enlargement, they will scatter, 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 they will scatter in the name of Jesus. He said, and number two, the second phase is have mercy upon you. You know why God must have mercy upon you? If there are past sin, there are things that you have committed before. If you are entered into a mistake and error, there are sin in the time past, and devil is still using that sin against you. When God has mercy on you, say mercy prevail over judgment. Whatever you have done, whatever your parents have done, whatever issue, whatever barrier, whatever decree, whatever decree that is on ground against you, yeah, Mr. Yama, when God have mercy on you, he level them, he silent them. Micah 7, verse 11. Micah 7, verse 11. Micah 7, verse 11. Thank you, Jesus. Make a self as in the day that your walls are to be built, in the day that your testimony are to be established, in the day that you are to be fruitful, in the day that you are to believe that you are to receive your letter of joy. In that day shall the decree be far removed. In that day, anything in your foundation, anything in your father's house, in your mother's house, anything in your foundation, anything in your life, anything in your environment. In the days of no, whatever you have done that is making Satan to put embargo, to put decree of no success, problem, crisis upon your life, it said in that day shall be decreed be far removed. When God has mercy on you, the satanic decree shall be far removed. Rising and falling shall be far removed. From one sickness to another shall be far removed. Wastage shall be far removed. Shame and reproach shall be far removed. Sweat and struggle shall be far removed. In that day. Why? Because the mercy of God will prevail. The mercy of God will prevail. Today, starting from today, because God is starting a new beginning, God is releasing his favor upon your life. Hear me, sir. Anything that the devil will be using to torment you, to harass you. Today, the mercy of God will speak for you in the name of Jesus. Receive the mercy. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Let it speak for your home, your marriage, your business, your career. In the name of Jesus. You will arise. Number two, you will have mercy upon Orelua. Number three, it is the time to favor him. It is your time to be favored. It is your time to be favored. As you are saying amen, you are receiving it. It is your time to be favored. Concerning that proposal, it is your time to be favored. Concerning your expectation, it is your time to be favored. Concerning your career, it is your time to be favored. Concerning your husband, it is his time to be favored. Concerning your wife, it is his, it is a time to be favored. Concerning your children, it is their time to be favored. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say favor. Somebody shout to say favor. And say, yea, the appointed time has come. Your appointed time to be favored has come in the name of Jesus. So I decree, I declare, receive the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Receive his favor. Be favor. Be favor. Let God favor you. Let God favor your work. Let God favor your marriage. Let God favor your career, your expectation, everything that concerns you. I decree, I declare, let God favor them in the name of Jesus. Receive God's favor. 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 
What is God's favor? Favor of God for a new beginning. What is God's favor? Favor of God is a way to show that God loves you. Did you hear me? Favor of God is a way that He shows to His children that He loves them. Favor of God is God's help in your life that makes impossibility possible. The favor of God, when it comes to your life, it makes everything that looks impossible, it brings them and make them to be possible. Favor of God is God giving you free of charge what people pay in millions for. What will cost you millions? Freely, you get it. Favor of God is God's kindness when you don't deserve it. God's kindness when you don't deserve it. Let me say this. The favor of God is God's partiality in your life. Somebody say, ah, is God a partial God? If you read your Bible very well, you will know. Let's not deceive ourselves. When you read your Bible very well, you will know. You will know. God has some selected children. God has some selected vessel. Why will he create some vessel unto honor and he will not create some unto destruction? Why? And the Bible said, those unto honor, so that he will show them his glory, his honor. He wants to manifest his glory and honor from them. But those vessels unto destruction, he wants to show forth his anger. When God wants to show forth his anger that is angry, he will break, he will take those uh, vessels of destruction, he will break them. They are human beings. Breaking them lead to crisis, lead to problem in their life. Which prayer will bring them out? Which prayer will bail them out? No prayer. Because their life is made for destruction. You remember Jacob and Esau? Right from when their mother was, when, the, when those children in their home, he said, Jacob, I have love. Esau has hated. And the Bible said, Is there unrighteousness in God? Far be it. But that is how he do his own. If he created some vessel unto honor, he used the same clay to make some unto destruction. When God's favor is on your life, you are a candidate of celebration. When God's favor is on your life, when men are saying that it's a casting down, you'll be saying that it's a lifting. God's favor. When God's favor is in your life, Ordinary what will be the attacks that will be time difficult, you solve it with ease. You solve it with ease. I remember when I when when I was about when God said I should leave and uh, leave the church and uh, and uh, go and start online and the uh, issue. You still need to stay. You still need to stay. You are not. You, I cannot leave you. You are my son. <laughs> <laughs> my pastor's wife looked at me one day because I walk under his um, with, with her directly and he just looked at one of the elders there. he said you know that there's something strange about her Ore. and he, she said two things she said Ore is multi-taxing person just give him bombard him with problem and he will solve them and he said number two he said some 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 difficult i'm saying it online because some some uh, some the elders may be here and uh, she is my mother in the love me that lord god bless her in the name of jesus she may be here i say this boy she said some difficult tasks things that are reduced difficult to solve he said jokingly jokingly he will just just tell him this is the problem again he said jokingly he just said ah is, is that simple now why not as if he was the one that put the problem there. So when we left, one of those, the elders there now said, Ore, come, let me ask you this question. Multitaxing, yes, that one is, everybody can be multitaxing. When I say multitaxing, I supersede, <laughs> amen, I see to the affairs, the domestic need of them, what they are going to eat, the food, amen, I'm the one in charge. All the vehicle, the vehicle, out of for, for the, 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 Amen. They have a school. 
I run the affair of the school. They have E3. The affairs of the E3 is on my table. They have hotel. The control of the hotel is... <laughs> Amen. So there's nothing about hotel management that I don't know. E3. E3. How to run E3. How to run E3. I know everything. Uh, something that I run for how many years? For almost about four years. Hotel. I'm the one that will go to the market, but whatever they need. So, <laughs> praise it the Lord. And at the same time, I'm a pastor. Deliverance. <laughs> Amen. At the same time, I'm an intercessor. I need to pray. <laughs> Amen. So the man said, no, I'm not talking about that multitasking. He said, they reduce those difficulties. He said, before your mother, uh, your, your August wife will say that, say, they must. He said, how are you to be able to solve it? I said, I don't know. He said, what is the secret behind it? I said, they just ask that this is the problem of God. I said, something in me will just say, they should do it this way, they should do it this way. And I will just say it. I don't know. And when they do it, it just work. So whenever there are difficult problems, and they will bring it. All right, don't you see? Look at these people. We ask them to do this thing. This is, we don't do well. No, no, uh, let's do it this way now. They should do it this way, they should do it this way. <laughs> Amen. I'll just be saying jokingly. And that is the solution. You know what I enjoy? It's not me. Mike, it's not me. It is just the favor of God that is upon me. So anytime those problems arose, the favor is out of your belly, shall flow the rivers of the living water. So anytime there are problems, anytime there are crises, the favor we release solution out. Somebody, you see yesterday, okay, yesterday, a woman of God online, where my wife too was, <laughs> during administration, uh, where we are now starting, and she said, it's just the favor of God that you enjoy. And she doesn't know I'm going to minister on favor today. The favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. When you enjoy the favor of God, when you enjoy the favor of God, it makes things easy for you. It makes things easy for you. Do you know that you give most accurate prophecy? Me? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know that the prayer you, you make receive instant answer? I don't know. The only thing I know is I enjoy the favor of God. When you enjoy the favor of God, things begin to work well. Big things begin to work, in the, work for you. You don't work for them. It works for you. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. As you go into this week, the Lord has said this week is our week of favor. As you and I go into this week, I decree, I declare, every difficult tax, every difficult issue, everything that looks like reduce or resolve problem that you don't even know how to resolve them, how to go about them. The favor of God will bear you out in the name of Jesus. The favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God will bear you out in the name of Jesus. Last but not the least, Luke 2, 52. Luke 2, 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God. Amen. And in favor with God. Amen. And in favor with God. Amen. As you go into this week, the Lord will increase you in the name of Jesus. You will receive favor from God. You will receive favor from men. You will receive favor from heaven. You will receive favor from earth in the name of Jesus. So as prayer avalanche continue throughout this week, join throughout this week, join me every day throughout this week, starting from tomorrow, as you'll be coming online, and the only prayer will be coming to pray is on favor. Lord, favor me. Lord, favor my work. Lord, favor my marriage. Lord, favor my business. Lord, favor my career. And please, before we, you, I will give us one prayer or two prayers to pray. I want to encourage us again. Ne coming next week, Saturday. If you have any friend, you have any relative, that you know that they are having issue or crisis in their marriage, please help me encourage them to join us next week, Saturday. Next week, Saturday. Next week, Saturday. The prayer avalanche for next week, Saturday. Praise the Lord as we continue interceding for our spouse. If you are home next week, Saturday, please encourage your husband to join you. Encourage your wife to join you. I lie not in the Holy Ghost. I lie not in the Holy Ghost. There are going to be unusual marital settlement next week in the name of Jesus. There are going to be unusual marital settlement next week in the name of Jesus. There are going to be unusual marital settlement in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Can we just lift up our hand and appreciate God for today? You are going to lift up your hand and cry unto the living God. Favor of God, locate me this week in the name of Jesus. Favor of God, locate me this week in the name of Jesus. Favor of God, locate me this week in the name of Jesus. Favor of God, locate me this week in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree and declare the favor of God, locate me this week in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God, let your favor locate me in the name of Jesus. Favor of God, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me. This very week, oh Lord my God, let your favor locate me in the name of Jesus. Let your favor locate me in the name of Jesus. Turn it, say I receive favor in the name of Jesus. In all my doing, say this week I receive favor. 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 Begin to decree and declare. Say in the name of Jesus. Say this very week. I receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Say this very week. I receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Say this very week. I receive favor. 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 In all my doing. Say I receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree and declare? Say in the name of Jesus. I receive favor in the name of Jesus. This very week, the Lord will favor me. The Lord will favor my work in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree and declare? Say in the name of Jesus. This very week, I receive favor. 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 Can you begin to decree and declare that this very week, I receive favor in the name of Jesus. This very week, I receive favor in the name of Jesus concerning my home, concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my career. This very week, I receive favor. 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 Can you begin to receive favor in the name of Jesus? Say this very week concerning my home, concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my career. I receive favor. 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 Decree and declare the favor of God to locate you. The favor of God to rest upon you, upon your work, upon your marriage, upon your business. Those expectations begin to receive favor in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive favor. I receive favor. I receive favor. I receive favor. In Jesus' name, we pray. As you go into this week, the favor of God, Almighty God, rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Lift up your prayer request. And your mantle. I declare, I declare the favor of God. Let it sort you out in the name of Jesus. Favor of God for answer prayer. Let it rest upon those mantle, upon that uh, prayer request in the name of Jesus. This very week, you will testify. This very week, you will testify in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. For those of you that are sending your seed, your offering, may the Lord God bless you. May the favor of God radiate. May the Lord God shield you. May, may the favor of God shield you this very week. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you, bless your home, bless your world, bless your business. That business, that career, where you are taking those seeds from to send to this ministry, may God increase and enlarge it in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. And for those of us that you have been blessed today, you are saying, Pastor, I have been blessed today. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You want to partner with us, you want to send in your seed, your offering, just send a message to plus 234 eight zero six two six eight six two double five plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five we send you the candidate and as you partner with us the lord favor you favor your home favor your going out you and your coming in the name of jesus and please i'm begging us again let's not forget next week saturday please invite your family member Amen. You don't know who are around you that are married but they are having crisis invite them let them join us or especially on that Saturday, coming Saturday, as you decree and declare concerning our marriage, the Lord will uphold your marriage, your marriage will not break, any ongoing crisis, the Lord will silence them in the name of Jesus, and the favor of God will rest upon you, Jesus' name. We meet again tomorrow by the special grace of God for another day, the 13th of this month, the 13th of this program. Go forth into this day, go forth into this week, and begin to enjoy the favor of the Almighty God. Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, 
auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.